Today on Yarra Rangers Life TV, we are here talking Wandon Park horse event with one of the organisers, John Anker. John, look, thanks for joining us here on Yarra Rangers Life TV to talk about this wonderful event. Thank you very much. Great to have you. Now, so, John, uh, the Wandon Park horse event, what's it all about? Well, there's basically um, the horse event involves doing dressage, show jumping and cross country. And the, the main phase that everyone comes and looks at, of course, is lovely cross country jumps that we have out here. So. Uh, so we have about eight classes of horses jumping from uh, you know very low heights of around around 750 mm -hmm. going right through to uh, a meter 20. So uh, so there's quite a big big difference in the height, and mm -hmm. so the horses progress through that, and that's what it's all about. We're offering that, all those classes, and obviously the spectacular sides to to see them when they're jumping the the big jumps. I can imagine, yeah. And uh, the event itself, um, how long has it been running for now? Well, we started this event. Uh, what if it is 1981, 1981. So, it's a, mm. so it's a few years ago probably 37 years of uh, running events and that's it so it's been a been a long a long time long now history yeah, yeah long history which is wonderful and uh, uh, this event here at Wandon Park uh, obviously in Wandon um, it, it, it draws uh, approximately 1,500 to 2,000 people that come down to spectate every every year that it's on and um, the the riders John um, where are they from well we have riders uh, international ones the Japanese have got a team over here which is really great that they're mm -hmm. over and uh, obviously we have interstate that's mainly uh, South Australia are really very very supportive of us too so so uh, that's what's made up mainly of, of mm -hmm. you know our Australian riders but uh, but we are lucky enough to have in particular the Japanese team here so fantastic so that's a pause so we're getting a bit more of that international flair happening as well which is wonderful and uh, uh, John um, now of course it's a it's a judged event as well isn't it well, they're, they're judged, uh, as I say, they're judged in the three phases, and mm -hmm. one is the dressage, where they, it's not probably something people want to look at that much, unless you know the sport, but but, uh, but they have to be judged for the movement of the horse. Mm -hmm. Then they're, they're also judged with the show jumping side, where, you know, it's pretty easy to watch them fly over those jumps, and uh, with all the coloured jumps and that, and then the, the other phase, of course, is this cross country, the cross country. you can see behind us here, where we have all the all the different uh, more natural type fences mm -hmm. even though we do have some some colored fences <laughs> to, to make it a bit more glamorous but Look. but each one of those are being judged by by people um, yeah and particularly cross country it requires mm -hmm. a, a judge at every every fence obviously which radio back to a control a control room up there and mm -hmm. uh, and so even the commentary is made from is, is it actually comes off that yeah, that actual uh, radioing in. Fantastic. And uh, uh, now I know that uh, these events um, don't just happen overnight, and there'll be a lot of people involved with uh, organising and running the event. Um, how does it work? Like, uh, who organises it, and uh, how many people put their hand up? Well, <laughs> <laughs> tell me about any organisation today. Volunteers are very hard, obviously harder and harder always to get. But I think, in particular, when you've been like us running. Uh, at least two events a year for um, you know for 37 years now it, it means it is very difficult but we require about 120 people to uh, to run this over the two days mm -hmm. the volunteers each day so it's a, a yeah pretty heavy load and mm -hmm. uh, obviously we <laughs> we have no friends <laughs> you can't say that Our relations do not answer <laughs> that anymore so you don't get any of those but we are lucky enough that we we do have a lot of supportive horsey interested yeah. people that will will come and, uh, and and help and keep helping each year and you know some of them have been doing it all those years so it's fantastic so they are fantastic what yeah. they do Look, we've got a, we've got a great um, supportive horse community out here in the Yarra Valley and the Yarra Ranges and uh, if you'd like to get involved and maybe help out with future events or um, or even see if you wanted to help out on the day you can always uh, contact the Wandon Park uh, International Horse event via their uh, their Facebook page and website and we'll have some links of course in this post that we're putting together today um, look John uh, love what you guys are doing. It's going to be a great weekend. It's going to be uh, some fantastic beautiful. weather. Beautiful um, weather and beautiful views. So they come here, watch the horses, watch the, just look at the view. It's a fantastic place yeah. with so much room. There's 320 acres that uh, we utilise on this property. So there's plenty of room for people to move around on and uh, they can follow around the course, walk the course, see the horses jumping as they walk around. So uh, yeah, fantastic. so it offers that. Yeah, it's going to be a great atmosphere here. Um, as John said, the, the location, the outlook, it's just magic out here in the Arrow Valley. It's one of the best parts of the world as far as I'm concerned. And this weekend, of course, it's the Wannan Park International Horse Event. Um, and uh, it from, runs from Sunday to Sunday. Yeah, sun, uh, Sunday's our main day that we mm -hmm. encourage most people to come Sunday. But Saturday's very, very large in the in the number of, uh, obviously, horses, riders and, mm -hmm. and supporters. But uh, Sunday's the more spectacle side of it where we've got the larger jump 
and the larger action happening on the cross country. So fantastic! And how much does it cost to, to come in and have a look? Well, the great thing is it's free, but we do we do ask uh, you know that there's a donation for. Um, uh, you're you're supporting, neuron, yeah. so, so you're we're supporting we're, a great cause, which yeah. is the Motor, Motor Neuron um, Disease Foundation that are raising money, or of course you guys are raising money for them. Yes, we we like to support, and obviously uh, we you know it's a bit of a touch, something close to our heart because of one of our very very supportive uh, uh, members of the committee, because it's all volunteers, um, obviously work with us for thirty odd years. Unfortunately, you end up with with Motor Neuron, so uh, so that's why we support. Support Good that on part you. of it, yeah. So it's just just a great cause, and but it is free, and uh, yeah, you're welcome to come in and just enjoy the day here and have a picnic, do what you like. We do have obviously a lot of trade stands and and food court and everything like that. So there is uh, there is the opportunity to uh, to enjoy the different foods, but but in particular, people just come and relax and enjoy themselves here. Fantastic. Look, uh, John, thank you very much for uh, putting all your your blood, sweat, and tears into organising this wonderful event. And thanks very much for having a chat to us here on Yarranger's Live TV. Very welcome. Thanks, very welcome. Lovely.